first review of 2024, peeps. Happy New Year and all that crap. Okay. Hey there, friendlies. Uh, it's a <laughs> beautiful Canadian winter uh, Saturday. It's minus 10 here in Montreal. Um, my tea's gone cold. So I just, you know, there we go. Uh, so I'm going to do this as quickly as possible. Also, the light is dying on me. So what do I got for you this week? The Glen Scotia Victoriana. Finally saw one here in Quebec. And, uh, oops. I decided I kind of needed to know what the fuss was all about. Because, you know, every time someone's got a Victoriana, everyone's all like, woo! So, um, let's get it out of the box. <clears throat> there we go. Sorry about the fire engine there. So, what do I got to open the bottle with? I thought it would be hilarious to, sorry, there's a dog next door. <clears throat> I thought it would be funny to open it with a gardening tool because I sure as heck ain't gonna be gardening anytime soon. You know what I'm saying? Put that there. My hands are way too cold to be messing around with bladed objects. So, I'll put that over here. And let's get this open. And then I will tell you all of the nothing I know about this beverage. Oh, my hands are too cold to, wait. <laughs> okay, there we go. Hold on, gotta get the snow out of the glass. That's better. So what do I know about this? Nothing. Nothing at all. Um, what I'm looking for is, uh, let's not, look, I, I'm not sure if that was tasting notes, so I don't want to, uh, cast strength, natural color, non-chill filtered, that sounds good to me. So, I'm going to put that there. There's no age statement on this, so I'm not really worried about, um, you know, year in the cask, minute in the flask kind of thing. Uh, so I'll just... You know what, let's just go directly into the review. Let's start with um, the visuals, with the design. Sorry about that, folks. Uh, it, it's an okay look. <laughs> neighbor has got a dog. Uh, I miss having dogs. So what we got in here is the card for all the French, because uh, as you know, I live in Quebec. Uh, the look is, is okay. It's, it's very classic, which I respect. Um, I've sort of said before, and I reiterate, that I'm not a fan of gold foil on packaging. Um, but with this sort of a kind of quasi-British racing green, I think it fits. It's nice. Um, classy. Uh, it's clear. There's nothing too small for me to read on it. I'm not going to look at that just in case. <laughs> Funniest video ever. Uh, bottle is more of the same don't bark at me man <laughs> bottle is more of the same it's very classy uh, maybe a little busy on the label but it's not bad my favorite no I would give it I don't want to go too high on this I don't want to air too low either let's call it a 78 I think it's a very nice design I just I don't think it's it's not going to go down as one of my favorites. Let's get this out of the way. Clear out the area a little bit. Oh my snap. So let's start with the checklist, shall we? Uh, what do we have here? We have a single malt scotch whiskey, a Campbelltown. Um, we do not have an age statement. We do have 54.2% cask strength. Call that a win. And it's natural color and non-chill filtered. So that's pretty damn good. If I take a look at the glass, I see a very nice, just darker than straw colored amber. I think it's very attractive. I'm looking for tears. I'm not seeing too much. So I'm expecting kind of a, a, fr a mouth friendly experience here. So let's give it a nosing. Very fruity, very sweet, very scotchy. There's a malt element there, of course. Um, 
for the fruits, I would say lemon drop. Not getting too much spice. Um, it says something about the casks here, but it just says finished in the finest deep charred oak casks. I don't know what that means. So, um, it's very thick smelling, very sort of robust, kind of a, a richness there. Just let me get my specs off so I can get all the way in there. Yeah, very present. Very kind of um, rounded and unified. I'm liking that for the nose, man. Oh, I like that. I'm gonna give that a, I'm gonna give that an 88. Shall we taste it? Get it on the palate? Wow. <laughs> oh, that's so good. That's, it's almost kind of cakey. It's sweet. It's malty. It's, it's, um, Ready. The, the fruitiness is there. Um, still sort of a lemon drop. <sighs> Maybe like an apple pot? No. Parish? I don't know. There, there's some sort of a, a bright orchard fruit there. Um, but it's also got sort of dark cherry, I guess. Cherry, maybe something slightly plummy. There's a jamminess there. Damn, that's good. Mm. I understand now. I get it. There is spice. Uh, it's not scratching. It's not aggressive. It's it's a, a warm kind of... Like, I want to call it a cinnamon or a nutmeg, but I'm not getting cinnamon flavors. It's more of a, uh, an, an aperçu, uh, like a, a feeling. Mm. Hold on. Giving it another nose now that I've tasted it. I gotta, I gotta. Whoa. Um, I just got like a banana thing. Has anyone? And now that I, I got that impression, now it's there like a banana bread. Oh, and there's a creaminess. Oh, so good. That's a 90. That's a 90. So let's destroy it, shall we? Oh, that was a little too much. Oh, before I, I go any further, I do want to mention that the finish is long, man. It's, it's still going. So I like that. It's nice and oily in the mouth. I like it a lot. With the water, it's kind of much of the same. Maybe a slightly peppery note. Slightly more spice, maybe, because of the, the volatiles volatiliating it drops the sweetness out a little bit it brings out sort of a, a pepper note on the palate as well as on the nose still pretty good not as good but it's still pretty good nice mm. um, so let's talk about value this this bottle was wasn't too bad it was just over a hundred bucks um, in fact, let me check what, what it cost me. Check my history, my purchase history. SAQ calls me a passionate whiskey buyer. I'm not sure if that's completely healthy. Victoria, Victorian a cask strength. Okay, it cost me $114.75. Is that gonna, that's not gonna, is it? Um, I would spend more than that on this. It, it ain't a cheap whiskey. There are way better deals out there. Uh, but I would give that a, because I like it so much, it, like it, to me it tastes like $160 kind of thing in Quebec money, right? Um, so for the stonking deal, no, but not bad. I'll give it a 78 on the value. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's all she wrote. Thanks for hanging out with me for this 
quick little uh, review. I'm going to get warm. Um, so, as I always say, if you like what I'm doing, then please do the following three things. One, comment down below. Yay or nay to the Victoriana? Do you think I like it too much? Do you think maybe I built myself up too much? I don't know. Uh, second, share this video. That helps me more than you could possibly imagine. And third, leave me a smiley thumb. If you don't like what I'm doing, that's all right. Leave me a frowning thumb. Thanks for watching, guys.